What is up guys, Stark here. I am back for day 21 of the 25 Days of Fate, and in today's video, we are doing the yearly calendar video for the banner schedule for 2021. So this is going to be a long, long video, um, and there's a lot of different banners throughout 2021. I think 2021 is going to be a stacked year for servants. There's, there's tons of really good game-changing characters, and they're all jumbled together into one year, so it's going to be... It's going to be a tough year, uh, figuring out which servants to go for is going to be a real challenge and you know if you are you know one of those people who like to spend money, well get the wallet ready, get the cards ready because I feel like a lot of people are going to be uh, dropping a lot of cash on these banners. Anyway let's go ahead and crack right into it. So I believe there is 45 different banners coming out in 2021 and we're going to go ahead and talk about all of them. Starting with the New Year's event for January 2021, which is typically the first banner that we get as it is the start of the year, and they always like to throw some really good stuff at us right away. So there will be two banners initially on the New Year's event, and that will be the, uh, the regular 2021 New Year's Pickup Summon. This always brings out a bunch of really good limited time characters, bring them back into the, into the game for the new year and gives people an opportunity to pick up some really good servants. I know last year myself I picked up Gilgamesh and Skahawk, uh, so I was really excited about that. I got really good luck last year for the new year's banner and for this year's banner, according to JP, now some of the servants might be a little different for us, um, but I can only go off of what JP got. So for JP they had Gilgamesh, Castor Nero, Cleopatra, Sigurd, Skahawk, Jalter, and Hokusai rated up in the banner. And, you know, I don't think we'll get this exact lineup of servants, but we should get a pretty good lineup as well. Hokusai will have a rerun of her banner from last year. Uh, so, you know, she's pretty much guaranteed to be coming out. Uh, the other servants might be mixed up for a few other servants that are pretty popular. Like, I know last year we had Melt was one of them. Uh, so she's not on the list this year, but maybe she'll be on the list. We just have to wait and see for that. And then we also do have the guaranteed SSR banner for New Year's. So this will be a 15 paid Saint Court only. You get one chance at it, you're guaranteed one guaranteed 5 star character. So, you know, obviously GSSRs are always really nice. Unfortunately, you do have to spend a little bit of money on them, but, you know, they did reduce the cost to 15 instead of 30 which is really nice and yeah you know just you have the list of servants you can get you know pretty much the limited servants are available to pull from the odds of getting a servant you actually really like the one servant you really want are really low but you know most of the servants are really good so it's definitely in my opinion it's it's definitely worth getting every GSSR you should definitely roll for even if you're free to play like you should make the exception for GSSRs because they're just too good to pass up honestly and then we do actually have another banner that comes out on January 1st as well and I don't know if we'll get this on January 1st but we will get it very early on in the year and that is going to be the first new character of 2021 and that's going to be the Saber Benny Emma. So Benny Emma comes out with a whole event and while she's not a welfare servant and there's no welfare servant attached to her event it's still a pretty cool event and she does come rated up with a few other servants in the game. So you have Tamamo as your 5 star character. And then you have Tamamo Cat as a 4 star character as well as Finn. And then part 2 of that event is going to introduce another new 5 star character. And this is going to be Old Man Lee who will be a 5 star assassin. He will be rated up with the 4 star Archer of Inferno and the 4 star Saber Deer Mid. The next event that Japan got was a Babylonia event. Now I do believe that we might have already gotten this one in NA already. There are definitely banners that we've gotten, so we're, we're not going to get these again. Um, but I'm going to include them on the list just to show you guys the calendar, just in case like I, I might have like thought we got a banner and we didn't actually get the banner. So just for the sake of that, we're going to go ahead and put that on here. So for the Babylonia event, you do have Enkidu rated up along with the four-star caster Gilgamesh. And then next up, we do have the Heaven's Feel movie tie-in campaign. Now this I know we've already gotten on JP, I mean on NA because it just went away. Um, but it is here 
for JP, I it was the banner that rated up Artoria, like all the Fate Servants. You had the two times EXP. It brought back the Mystic Code. Um, so I'm not really gonna talk about this too much because we 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 already had this. Like it's the event's still going on. I think right now um, for some of the like, craft essences and stuff. So we're just gonna skip right over this one. After that, we do have the Winterfest coming out, which will give Ivan the Terrible his rerun, and will also give you Shiva as well as the four-star rated up servant. And then the final banner of January 2021 is going to be the return of Chloe's event. So Chloe is going to be a welfare servant who you'll be able to get. She's a fantastic servant. But as far as the banner goes, we're going to get a whole bunch of other characters coming back. So you have Ilya rated up as the five-star character. And Queen Meave will also be there as well. Uh, so it gives you a good opportunity to get both of those characters. And as far as four-star servants go, you'll be able to get Nursery Rhyme, Helena, the Storylocked, Medea Lily, and the new four-star character, Miu. All right, so moving on into February, we have four banners for February. And the first one is going to be the new Valentine's Day banner. So this will be the uh, Valentine's Day banner. You have all your female servants, and this will introduce a new five-star caster, Murasaki. And of course, you also do have the ability to get a lot of other female servants. So they'll be rated up with Murasaki like on different days so it'll be like Murasaki and Altair, M Murasaki Orion you know each servant's paired up with Murasaki for one of the days so if you do like a certain servant you can go ahead and try and pull for them on the same day as Murasaki and Murasaki will also have her own rate up by herself if you just want to pull for her so at the beginning and the end of the event you'll be able to pull exclusively for Murasaki just in case you might get like spooked by one of the other five stars that you don't necessarily want but yeah there's a good cast here uh, definitely a lot of options uh, really good servant pairings and I'll probably be pulling on this one for quite a few of them after that we do have the rerun of last year's Valentine Day banner now this only has Semiramis rated up because all the other female servants are rated up alongside Murasaki which is fine because if you didn't get Semiramis last year then this is a good opportunity to pull for her this year after that, we do have the return of BB's event, and her banner will also come out alongside that. So you'll be able to pull for the 5-star Melt, and you'll also have 4-star Raid Sup as Passion Lip, Suzuka Gozen, and Emiya Alter. Melt is a really good character, definitely one of the banners I'm looking to pull for. Uh, she's going to get another buff, so she's going to get even stronger than she already is. So, you know, if you don't have her, then maybe... This would be a really good opportunity. I think this is the only time she's rated up throughout the year too. So, you know, if you did want her, this would definitely be your chance to do that. And then the final banner of February 2021 is going to bring out a new five-star character, and that is going to be King Protea. So King Protea is a alter ego character. She comes rated up with two of the knights. So she'll have uh, Gawain and Tristan in her banner as well. So that's a good opportunity to pull for those characters and you know, get some story lock servants as well as a potential new five star alter ego. So moving on to March, in March we only have two banners and well technically we have three banners but one of them spills into April as part of one of the events but we have two main banners in March. The first one is going to be the Caldea Boys collection which is basically like the reverse of the Valentine's Day banner where instead of having the female servants rated up you have the male servants rated up but for this banner, there are no new four, uh, new five-star characters that are coming out, so it's nothing new. It's just a rerun of all of the previous male servants. So if you are interested in any of those servants on that banner, then by all means go for it. There are some pretty good ones there, but you know nothing new. And then the final banner for March is going to be the Kama banner. So Kama is a five-star assassin who is one of the better characters that we're going to be getting this year, in my opinion. She's a fantastic servant. She's rated up alongside Parvati, which could be very helpful for a lot of people who are doing Scotty teams. Maybe they don't have Parvati. Maybe they only have MP1 Parvati. So, you know, you get really good stuff for this banner. So you'll either get, well, I guess, depending on your luck, you might not get anything. But of the rated up servants, there's only two of them. One of them is really good for Scotty teams, and the other one's just a really good character in general. So either way, uh, you're going to be benefiting as long as you get decently lucky on this event and you know Kama does come out with her own individual event as well once again there's no welfare servant for the event 
but still the event is really fun in my opinion as well and there is actually a second banner for this event but it does spill into April so technically it's part of April's banner so uh, we're gonna start with that one this will be part two of Kama's event banner and this will have Kiara and the caster of the Nightless City rated up as five star characters and then you have Yagyu as the four star Saber rated up after that we do have the 16 million download campaign which will see the return of mysterious heroine x alter she'll be featured as the raid up servant for the duration of the banner so if you did want her then this is your opportunity to do that after that we do have the return of sakamoto's event so he'll be the the welfare servant for the event as the writer but for his banner this will be the return of okita alter and this will also see Hijikata Toshizo rated up as a 5 star character and you also have some 4 star characters rated up so you have Emiya and Lee and then you do have the return of Izo as well who is a limited time 3 star character so you'll want to make sure you pull for him he doesn't come around very often so you, you definitely want to at least try and get one copy of him but he's a 3 star character his rates are pretty good so you should be able to get him MP5 pretty easily but you should definitely make sure you get at least one copy of him so next up we have a banner that's tied into the anime for the waiver case files and I don't know if if we'll actually get this because we already got like a like an event for the anime tie-in or a little bit earlier um, but I feel like we'll get the I feel like we get this banner just because of the event that comes out after it and that is going to be for the four star assassin gray as a welfare servant uh, just so just because she comes out I think that we'll still get this banner and it's a really good banner because it rates up waiver so if you don't want to wait for the free five star ticket to get your waiver then you know maybe it would be a good opportunity to pull for him on this banner he's the only rated up five star character so if you do pull a five star you should be have you should have pretty good odds of pulling him and then after that you will have the actual event with gray and her banner and this will introduce a new five star writer Rhinez she will also come out with a new 4 star ruler Astrea and she'll also have rated up for the Emiya Assassin. Moving on to May, we have 3 banners in May and the first one is going to be a class rate up banner. So on the graphic here it's only showing the sabers, I didn't really feel the need to go ahead and put all of the graphics there. You guys should know by now what class rate ups are so you'll have different banners, one for each of the different classes and the extra classes are you know, jumbled together. And you know, if you want to pull for those characters, then you have a pool of characters to pull from. None of the limited time characters are on these banners. They're strictly for like just the regular characters. They do have story locked characters in them though. So if you are interested in that, then you know, you, you can go ahead and pull for those. But for the most part, you know, it's really not something that you should really waste your time for. After that, we do have another event, which will see Jalter featured as the five star character. This is a really good banner in my opinion because you do have Jalter rated up as your 5 star servant. You do have Tristan rated up as the 4 star servant who is story locked. And then you do have, you know, the 3 star Avenger Antonio Celery. So he's also um, locked as well. So, you know, it gives you a good opportunity to get a lot of those characters. I think a lot of people when they do the, like the class based GSSR, they always pick they don't always pick but a lot of people pick avengers and try and get antonio that way but this would be a good opportunity to try and get him while getting some copies of jolter in the process potentially uh so yeah a really good banner and it comes with a, an event but there's no welfare servant for that event and then the final banner for may is going to be a learning with manga banner this will see altera and da vinci rated up along with the four star caster cersei so moving on to the month of June, June has five different banners and you know June is the start of like a really heavy stretch of banners for Fate. The summer months are always usually really busy and really populated with really good characters and you know this year definitely follows the same tradition. Uh, starting with a interlude banner, so we'll have the interlude campaign number nine. This will rate up the 5 star assassin Osaka Bihime as well as the 5 star assassin Old Man Lee. So you have another opportunity to get Lee who maybe maybe earlier on in the year you spent too many courts on the New Year's banner or maybe you opted to go for Benny Emma instead. This gives you a good opportunity to come back around and get 
Old Man Lee. You also do have rated up servants for four star characters for Emiya Alter, and you also do have another rate up for four star assassin Wu. After this, we do have the introduction of Lost Belt number four, and the pre release campaign for that is going to have a banner featuring the five star archer Arjuna, as well as the four star saber Rama. And then once the Lost Belt 4 is officially released, there'll be two banners for, for Lost Belt number 4, which is normal, uh, most Lost Belts, I think all the Lost Belts actually get two rate up banners. And you're going to get the five star, and you're going to get the five star Moon Cancer, Jinako, as the new character, and then you're also going to get the four star Saber Bai. And you also will get a new three star character as well, and it's gonna be William Tell. So following Lost Belt 4 Part 1, you have Lost Belt 4 Part 2. This will feature quite a few servants, the first one being the 5-star Berserker Arjuna Alter, who is probably one of my most sought after servants in 2021. You also do have Karna rated up as well. You do have two other new characters coming out to the game, they're both going to be story locked. The first one is going to be the 4-star Archer Ashwatama. And the other one is going to be a three-star caster, Asclepius. So yeah, both of those characters are story locked. So if you do want them, this would be a really good opportunity to get them. And honestly speaking, you should be pulling for Arjuna Alter anyway. I do think he is a fantastic servant and pretty much a must-have for pretty much everybody in the game at this point in time. And then finally, to round off the month of June, we do have the 17 million download campaign, which we'll see... Bride Nero rated up as the 5 star character and regular Nero rated up as the 4 star character. Moving on to July, we do have two different events that feature banners. Now there are going to be quite a few banners in the second event and this will be the start of the summer units for the year 2021. But before that we do have a new event with a new welfare character. This will be for the Lancer Kagetora. And her banner comes out with three characters. The first one is going to be the 5 star Avenger, Demon King Nobunaga, so that's going to be a new character. The 4 star character is going to be the returning Berserker Oru Nobunaga, which was previously a summer character. And then for the 3 star you're going to have Mori Nagayoshi, who is also going to be a Berserker, and he is a limited time 3 star character much like Izo is. Uh, so definitely try and make sure you get at least one copy of this character. Next up we have the Servant Summer Festival rerun, which is quite a lengthy event honestly, and it comes out with three separate banners, just like it did when it came out for the first time. And this will have a whole bunch of summer units in it, it'll have the 5 star Archer Joan of Arc, it'll have the 4 star Lancer Ibaraki Doji, it'll have the 4 star Assassin Ushi Wakamaru, it will have the 5 star Moon Cancer BB, it will have the 4 star Foreigner Mysterious Heroine XX, it'll have the 4 star saver Queen Meave, it'll also have a couple other characters that we've already had in the game, not summertime characters, but they are characters that are in the event, they're characters that have their unique costumes, so you'll have 5 star Avenger Dante, and you'll also have the 4 star caster Gilgamesh. Robin Hood's also rated up on the banner, but you know, you can get Robin Hood in front of point summons, so I don't really include that in the list. But yeah, it's a lot of banners to get through. Three different banners, so you have to be careful which ones you choose from. Uh, so definitely prioritize the servants you really want the most because the month, the year doesn't slow down. Like you know, once July hits, or once June hits, rather, you know, it's just full force pretty much until the end of the year. So you just you have to like follow follow the video, follow the guides, and and plan out which banners you, you absolutely want to prioritize on. So moving on to the month of August, and for Japan, August is their anniversary month. But for us, it's not. It's in July. So for us, the August stuff might be in July, and then the July stuff might be in August. Uh, it really just depends on the way they want to handle it. But there are a couple banners in August that we do have to take a note of, especially, you know, it's the anniversary, so there's going to be anniversary stuff there. So first up is the anniversary Lucky Bag Summon, which is your guaranteed SSR. Uh, so for this one, there's going to be two different groups that you could choose from. You could choose between the three knight classes or the four cavalry classes. So it, it's not broken down on the graphic there, but the first banner is split up between sabers, archers, lancers, rulers, avengers, moon cancers, and foreigners. 
And the second group is going to be the Rider, Caster, Assassin, Berserker, and Alter Ego group. So, you know, you just pick which one. I guess you just see which characters you want the most of and you can try and pull for it there. Uh, it does have the addition of all of the new characters added into the game thus far. So you do have the likes of Benny Emma and Arjuna Alter. Kama is also there. You know, any of the limited time characters that came out. Uh, Nobunaga is also on the list. Old Man Lee is not. He is not a limited time character. He's story locked. So he's not in the actual banner. Uh, King Protea is actually there as well. Uh, so you just make a list. Maybe Rhinus is also there. So it looks like the cavalry class has more of the, the newer servants that came out in the air. Murasaki is also there. So it looks like pretty much all of the new characters thus far except for two of them are on the cavalry class so maybe if you missed out on one of those characters you might be more tempted to pull on the cavalry class banner to try and get some of those characters but you know you also have like merlin rated up on on the cavalry class generally speaking it looks like it may be the better one strictly speaking for like newer characters but of course you know the the knight class has some really good servants as well so you have dante's in there you have mothman gilgamesh ishtar bunch of bunch of good characters Jolter's there Nobunaga's there Hokusai Abby so it just basically comes down to what you really want and of course there is actually a anniversary banner outside of the lucky bag so the regular anniversary banner is going to see the uh, new character be Leonardo da Vinci in her writer form so she'll be the anniversary unit she'll come out with um, different banners every day much like every other anniversary where she comes out with different story characters so for this one, there's going to be one with the Lost Bell groups in individual days, and then the other one is going to be the Epic of Remnant chapters as well, grouped together into different banners. So you guys can see in the graphic there the list of all the characters that will be rated up at some point throughout the event. So if any of those characters are interesting to you, then you know when the event comes out and they release the official dates and times, you'll be able to pick which one of those dates you want to roll for. Da Vinci does have her own rate up, which is probably when I'll be pulling to just try and get her right away. After that, we do have a new event with a bunch of new banners. This is going to be the new summer event for us. Uh, this will give us the four star Saber Hokusai as the Welfare Servant, which I think they are a fantastic character. Uh, so that's really good. And like I said, we do have three banners for summer. Just like last year, we had three banners. This year, we're also going to get three banners. So yeah, we're going to see the new 5-star character be Summer Musashi, who's going to be a Berserker. We'll have the 4-star Archer Osaka Bihime and the 4-star Rider Carmilla. Those will be your Part 1 characters. Part 2 characters, we'll see the 5-star Ruler, Artoria Pendragon. You'll have the 4-star Lancer, Mysterious Alter Ego A. And you'll have the 4-star Assassin, Okita J. Soji. And then Merlin will also have his own banner in the event, uh, so he's going to get his own costume in the event. So Merlin, Siegfried, and Kotaro will have raid ups in that event because they all get costumes. Uh, so if you don't have Merlin, it's a really good opportunity to get Merlin. However, him being stuck in between two summer banners is going to be pretty difficult to justify. But Merlin is a character worth justifying, so if you do have the, the courts to go for, I definitely strongly recommend trying to get Merlin. So I do want to make a side note here, I don't have a graphic for it, but there is going to be a banner that comes out after the summer event, and it's going to be for um, craft essences, it's craft essences only, uh, the banner is misleading, it has like Saber and Astrea on the banner, but you can't get servants in them, it's just for craft essences. Uh, now it does bring back the limited time craft essences, so if it is something in there that you want, then by all means go for it. But I, I realistically, I, I wouldn't be pulling on this banner, but just don't be duped by the banner picture. There's no servants on that banner. So moving on into September, we do have another interlude campaign banner. So this one's gonna be for interlude number 10. This will see Jack rated up as well as Nikola Tesla. And then for the four star servants, you do have Parvati rated up. So this will be your second opportunity to get Parvati if maybe you didn't get her for the comma banner, or maybe you skipped the comma banner when that first came out. After that, we do have another class rate up banner, which will see all the different classes rated up once again. Just like I said last time, I don't think that you really need to worry too much about doing this banner. 
After that, we do have the return of Gilfest. So we'll have the Battle in New York banner once again. So you'll have an opportunity to get the Five Star Archer Gilgamesh. You do also have the chance to get the Story Lock Servants of Four Star Avenger Gorgon and the Three Star Lancer Jaguar Man. So, you know, good opportunity to get some Story Lock characters there if you, if you haven't gotten them. And honestly, both of them are pretty good characters as well. And then finally, to round off September, we do have a Kyomath event, which we may or may not get, but Japan got it, so we're going to put it here. And this is going to have Murasaki return, and she'll be rated up alongside the 5-star Berserker Kintoki and the 4-star Lancer Raiko, who is one of the summer characters. Moving on into October, we do have another Babylonia event, which we'll see Ishtar and Enkidu rated up, as well as Medusa Lily and Kassar Gogamesh. Um, again, this might be a banner that we don't get. It might be a banner that we have already gotten. I'm not, I can't remember if we've gotten this or not. I'm pretty sure we did. After that, we do have the rerun of the Halloween event that came out this year and is going to be for the four-star caster, Shooten Doji. This will be Satonai's banner, so, you know, maybe you, you weren't uh, as lucky as me last year getting Satonai, and I really wouldn't consider myself lucky, but I did pull for her. But if you did miss out on Satonai last time, then this will be a good opportunity to get her. So she'll be rated up with, uh, you'll have Satonai, you'll have Shooten Doji, the 5-star Assassin version, and you'll have both, both versions of Ibaraki as well rated up. After that, we do have this Saber Wars 2 pre-release campaign, which will see Mysterious Heroine X rated up as a servant for the duration of the event. And then for the actual Saber Wars event, we do have two different banners for it. The first one is going to introduce the new 5-star Avenger Space Ishtar and the new 4-star Archer Calamity Jane. And the second banner is going to have two characters that are already out in the game. So you have Mysterious Heroine X Alter as well as Yagyu. So moving swiftly on to November, we do have the 18 million download campaign, which will see Scotty return as the rated up servant for the duration of that event. Now, this is only for seven days, so you know if you did miss out on Scotty last year for the anniversary, then this is a good opportunity to pull for her. After that, we do have the Fate Prototype Campaign event, which will see King Arthur, Arthur, Pendragon, Prototype rated up, and this will also see Ozzy rated up. And then finally, we do have the Christmas event for 2021, and this will have uh, a new five-star character being Astolfo coming out as a Saber version. You do also have the Berserker 5-star Nightingale rated up, considering her 4-star counterpart is the Welfare Servant for the event. So that makes sense. And then you do also have Nursery Rhyme rated up as the 4-star Caster, and you have the 4-star Archer Ashwatama rated up as well. And then finally for December, we have three banners for December. And the first one is going to be another interlude campaign. This will be for interlude campaign number 11. And this will see Napoleon rated up as well as Anastasia. And then for the four star servants, you have Lin Ling and Xin Liang Yu. And then to round off the year and the month, you have Lost Belt number five coming out. So the Atlantis Lost Belt will be released in two separate banners as is tradition. The first banner is going to see two five star characters rated up which is a little bit weird considering it's usually like a five-star character and a four-star character. But, you know, we get two two new five-star characters. So you get the five-star archer, Orion. And then we have another five-star character being a five-star rider, Europa. You also do have the Assassin of Pariza rated up as one of the characters. And then you also have a new three-star character rated up. He's going to be a rider and is going to be Mange Ricardo. And then for the second half of the Lost Belt 5 campaign, you're going to have Achilles rated up, and you also have the 4-star ruler Astrea rated up to round off the year. So yeah guys, that is the year in a nutshell. There's there's a lot to pull for, there's there's tons of good servants, there's tons of good banners, uh, there's, there's really just a lot, like there's pretty much anything that you could really realistically want in the year is is coming out now obviously not every character is rated up but you do have a lot of heavy hitters you have jolter being rated up you have merlin scotty waver like all three of the key main support characters are being rated up this year as well and then you have multiple opportunities to get some really good characters like orion's a fantastic character 
You have Space Ishtar, really good character. Arjuna Alter, one of the better characters right now for Berserker class. Uh, you have your summer units, like tons of extra class characters are rated up. There's just so many, so many good characters rated up this year. Um, I think, I think a lot of people are going to be spending a lot of money this year on a lot of different banners. Anything, realistically, anything that you really need to, needed to fill your team is is going to be covered at some point in this year. I guess looking at it, the only thing that's really going to get people, like I guess, if they need like a five star ruler, I think that's mainly the. No, because you even have Artoria Bunny. So, Bunny Saber is a ruler. No, yeah, everything's covered. Like, everything everything you could have is realistically covered. Anyway, guys, that's going to wrap up this video for me. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know down in the comments what characters you guys are looking forward to getting the most for 2021. I hope this breakdown of the year has helped you guys. And, of course, I'll be doing the regular calendar videos for the month to break it down a little bit more as we get there uh, so stay tuned for that stay tuned for the rest of the videos for the 25 days of fate we still have a few more days for that stay tuned for uh twitter like look at my twitter and my discord for the the announcement of the official time for the giveaway um, and if you haven't checked out that video make sure you check out that video it will be tagged at the end of this video so you guys can check it out and watch still a few more days before that actually happens uh, so make sure you check it out and get all the details for that but until then I hope you guys are enjoying this series. I hope you guys are looking forward to the videos in the future. And I'll see you guys tomorrow.